So I do. what do you think about Travis potentially <laughs> dating Taylor Swift? Well, never once did I think I would mention the name Taylor Swift in one of my videos. But after multiple requests by my friends who are Swifties, I thought it was time to make a video on Travis Kelsey's story. This video is kind of terrifying to make, and Mina sums it up perfectly earlier this week. On this show, I make a lot of fan bases angry. They're in my mentions. I don't fear any fan base the way I fear <laughs> Taylor Swift. Fan. At the end of the day, I can't help but laugh about this all. From Stephen A. Smith. And I went to that concert, Damien. I said, damn, it was off the chain. To Colin Cowherd. But the Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift relationship okay. is potentially fantastic. fantastic. I'm not usually into this stuff, yeah. and my gut feeling is they're trolling all of us. This is insane. Even making the Deion Sanders media attention seem small. But from being kicked out of school to becoming one of the best tight ends in the NFL, you won't want to miss this Travis Kelsey story. I'll piss off Niners fans, I'll piss off Eagles fans. I will never say anything negative about Taylor Swift on a public platform. Right. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I am planning to release multiple videos a week this season. Also, let me know what the wildest story has been in football this year across college football and the NFL in the comments section below. Travis Kelsey was born on October 5th, 1989 and grew up in Westlake, Ohio. Travis is the younger brother to Eagles center Jason Kelsey, but did not come from an athletic family. His father was a sales representative in the steel industry, while his mother was a former bank executive. When Travis was in preschool, he was actually kicked out along with his brother when he was dominating the checkerboard games and not sharing, showing how uber competitive he would be one day. He would go on to attend Cleveland Heights High School, where he'd go on to become a three-sport star in football, basketball, and baseball. Travis found himself in trouble his sophomore year when he failed a French class, which led him to being benched by his high school coach. Jason spoke on the Prime video documentary Kelsey about the situation, saying he played a little bit as a true freshman, and then my senior year, he was ineligible because he failed a French class. So he missed out on playing my senior year together. He finished as a three-year letter winner as a quarterback and was named All-Lake Erie League after throwing for 1,523 yards and 21 touchdowns and rushing for 1,016 yards and 10 touchdowns accounting for 2,539 yards of total offense and 31 touchdowns. Coming out of high school, Travis was a two-star recruit who was the 85th best tight end and 1,602nd best player in the 2008 recruiting class. He received offers from Akron, Cleveland State, Cincinnati, UConn, Eastern Michigan, Miami, and Pittsburgh. Travis wanted to play quarterback in college, but had a tough conversation with his high school coach, Jeff Rotsky, with Rotsky telling Travis, listen, they're going to use you as a quarterback, but you got to have a full understanding that if you're not the guy there, you're going to be an unbelievable tight end. And that's probably what's going to happen. He had been recruited by other schools as a tight end and as a defensive end, as well as being recruited by other schools as a basketball player, but Kelsey didn't want any of that. He wanted to play quarterback in college. Cincinnati head coach Brian Kelly was going to give Travis a real shot at playing quarterback, and that is why he chose the Bearcats over the likes of Michigan, Michigan State, and West Virginia. When Kelsey arrived in Cincinnati, he would redshirt his freshman year due to being a part of a stacked quarterback room that included Tony Pike, Zach Caleros, and Brendan Key. Going to the 2009 season, head coach Brian Kelly wanted to figure a way to use his young athletic quarterback, so they installed a Wildcat package that revolved around Travis as the quarterback. It was mostly a series of zone reads, and Kelsey could call a speed option, hand the ball off, or keep it himself and run. According to the Cincinnati Inquirer, in a season opening win over Rutgers, the Bearcats used a Wildcat package on four plays, and Kelsey had three carries for 18 yards. In the Sugar Bowl loss to Florida, Kelsey had Cincinnati's second longest play of the game, a 19-yard run out of the Wildcat set. Going into the 2010 season, Travis would once again find himself in trouble after testing positive for marijuana. 
he was partying and enjoying his college life as a person who saw constant playing time. He did not know the NCAA tested for THC once a year, and he got popped during a random drug test. He found himself at a low point because this led to him being kicked off the team, having his scholarship revoked, and he had no idea what he was going to do. Jason, who was also playing at Cincinnati, begged the coaches to give his younger brother a second chance, which they did. In order to prove himself, Travis moved in with Jason so the now Philadelphia Eagles center could keep an eye on him, helped pay for his own tuition, and even made the honor roll the following season. When he returned to the team, they would have a brand new coaching staff led by head coach Butch Jones, who decided to get rid of the Wildcat package and move him to the tight end position full time. Travis had never blocked or played tight end before he had ever arrived at Cincinnati, and now he needed to fully adapt to it. Jones explained to the Inquirer, It was a process, but you look at the position traits that you look for in a tight end, from a toughness standpoint, from an athleticism standpoint, from the ability to create matchups against defense, it was a no-brainer. But he had to put himself into that position. He had to work every day. Every day there was a struggle and triumphs. But in two years, he became a changed individual on and off the field. Travis slowly learned the tight end position and slowly became one of the best in the nation. He took on the position very naturally, but not to rush his development. He spent the 2011 season as his third string tight end behind former NFL tight ends Blake Nen and Adrian Robinson. In 2011, Kelsey had 13 catches for 150 yards, which ranked seventh on the team. He would explode during the 2012 season as the offense revolved around the young tight end. Cincinnati moved from a run-first offense to a pass-first offense that ran through Kelsey. He set tight end program records including receiving yards with 722. During the Belk Bowl, Kelsey finished with 5 receptions for 123 yards including an 83-yard game-winning touchdown. Travis was viewed by some as the best tight end in the 2013 NFL Draft class, would not be taken until the third round of that year's draft. Kelsey was taken by the Kansas City Chiefs 63rd overall when he received a phone call from head coach Andy Reid. He was basically told not to mess this one up. Kelsey would not disappoint. Through his almost decade-long NFL career, he has become one of the best players in the NFL and has become star quarterback Patrick Mahomes' favorite target year in and year out. He has accumulated 825 receptions for 10,439 yards and 71 touchdowns, catching 71% of the passes thrown to him. He also has won multiple Super Bowl rings. He's been a Pro Bowler eight times, has broken numerous NFL records, and was even ranked fifth best player in the league prior to the 2023 season. During the 2023 Super Bowl, the Kelsey brothers became the first siblings to play each other in the Super Bowl with Travis and the Chiefs finishing on top. Travis Kelsey has not kept his name out of the headlines though off the field. This time, it has not really affected his playing career though. During the mid-2010s, Kelsey starred in his own reality dating show called Catching Kelsey, which saw Travis go on dates with women from each of the 50 states in an elimination-style show who would not end up with anyone special. He joked saying he chose to do the show for financial reasons and his brother saying, I thought you were looking for love. In 2022, Travis and his brother Jason started the New Heights podcast to be able to spend more time together. They spend the show talking about the NFL storylines from the week, as well as funny events from their respective lives and childhood. The show became an instant hit. As of September 2023, it was the number one sports podcast on Spotify and the number one overall podcast on Apple Music. He also hosted Saturday Night Live, which is a rare feat for tight ends. He crushed it with many people involved with the production, saying he did extremely well. Finally, it's time to address the elephant in the room. The reason weirdly for this video. Travis is now dating one of the world's biggest pop stars in Taylor Swift. I had multiple female friends of mine beg me to make this video as they want to know about who this guy was. Guys, it's a weird crossroads for me. I can't believe I'm making this video. Travis first tried asking Taylor out during an heiress tour with a bracelet with, the, with his number on it, but failed to get it to her. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't stay serious for this. However, Swift seemingly caught wind of the sweet gesture, <laughs> and nearly a month later, sources told the messenger the pair was quietly hanging out. Oh God, sorry. I'm getting through this, I'm getting through this. Travis would then go on the Pat McAfee show where he would say he invited the pop star to a game, and this past weekend she accepted, 
and is expected to be at the Jets game this weekend. This sends social media into a wild frenzy, and you could not miss it anywhere on social media. It's truly a wild time. But what do you think? Is Travis Kelsey the best tight end in the NFL? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, to all my friends who asked for this video, here you go. You're welcome. I think about you all all the time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos. YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more football content. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.